Colin, guess what this is? What? This is our dreams. Right here. I can't wait. This I can't is, wait. This is gonna become something fabulous. Just 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 you wait. Oh shit, it doesn't fit. And this 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 is this is the one. I feel it. Hey everybody, I know I haven't been on my channel in a million years, but hi, I'm Sam. This is Sam Can Do. I'm a mom, I'm a maker, and I'm a Glowforge enthusiast. I just am also very busy and have to work uh, to live. And so I have not been on this channel in a while, but I'm back and I've taken some time to try and refocus on how I could merge maybe my new career entrepreneur things with the content that I really enjoyed making here on Glowforge. So I figured I'd bring you along on a journey. Some of you follow me on Instagram, some of you don't. Um, I'm working on a cannabis business. I know that's not everybody's thing, but really think of it as any other like herbal tea business, something that uplifts people, a different type of health. I mean, it is what it is. It's the same, I mean, it's, it's, it's what you think, but not the way that you thought of it. We wanna have a brand. We're building a brand. Um, we're not sure in what areas of the cannabis industry we'll be in, but the first project is going to be a subscription box. And we're building it out, and I thought I'd take you along the journey of building out our prototype. And the Glowforge is amazing for prototypes because you can get online and you can get on an Excel spread, or not an Excel, oh my God, what is it called? Graph paper? You can draw on. <laughs> I'm literally on computers so many times I forget about what paper is called. Also, one time I, I saw something on my face and I, in my mind, I thought about Photoshop cloning it off of my face instead of just wiping. I didn't, I spend too much time on the computer. Anyway, um, where did, what was I saying? Hold on, brain fart. Okay, prototypes. <laughs> and I called this video prototypes for dummies because you can draw it all out, but nothing is the same as holding it in your hand. And all, I, I think in my mind that I know how thick like the dimensions would be in reality if I'm just sketching it out, but I really don't know. So we wanted to build out the kind of drawing that we created and um, I thought that this would be a one part video, but there was a lot of mistakes we made on the way. First of all, we had to build the box. And if you've ever had to build any type of simple box structure, now some of you are like Glowforge experts, this is a Glowforge for idiots area. This is a safe space for people who don't know things. Um, I don't know how to build out my own like SVG box files. I don't do that. I don't do, I'm, I'm not trying to work harder. I just wanna do crafts. And so there's a great website called MakerCase. They give you all kinds of different options for what types of joints. I just said, I want to open box and uh, I put in the dimensions. Now, what I learned is that there's a difference between inner dimensions and outer dimensions. And so when you're building any type of prototype, um, if it's multi, if it's not two dimensional, I don't want to, I, I am not qualified to talk about dimensions or like specific geom. Anyway, like I said, this is a safe space and I am a very intelligent woman. And that's why you're here listening to me, an expert. You're welcome. <laughs> but there's a difference between internal and external dimensions. And so I actually did all of this wrong, um, but it was still a great exercise on similar. I mean, it's not too far from what we designed. So we started out with the idea of a, of a box that was open with a sleeve and this very, very, very cool. Um, can you <laughs> Hold on. Let me get the details. Can you see, can, did they get it, Colin? Can it, did it focus? Is it focused? Can, make it focus. Hold on, it's important. It's important that they get it. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, so then we'd have a sleeve. Once you open the sleeve, the real thing is gonna be so cool and smooth and beautiful. Okay, let's get rid of this. By the way, very. this will be worth a lot of money one day. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see. It's good. We're gonna scrapbook with that. Okay, then you open it and we wanna have this idea of a ritual. So I made this card and it says, I embrace myself in radical acceptance. I told you it was a safe space. And see, it's cannabis, but it's something, we want people to make a sacred space. And so the part that was glow forged, obviously is this box inside and the product, or the, the box that holds everything. And the product that we're imagining would have um, this kind of set of pre-rolls, some gummies, and then this beautiful ritual card with information on the beautiful products inside. Now, I, in the process, I used uh, corrugated cardboard, and it's such a cheap, reusable, like earth-friendly material to use. You already have boxes lying around your house um, to just 
try things. But I will tell you that if you use the Glowforge standard settings for the cardboard, it's not going to cut through. I think they have it set somewhere. I'll put it in the details right here, but I think they have it set at like 500 speed at full power. I had to drop it all the way down, I think to like 300. I have some screen recordings to show you, but if you're going to cut through cardboard, Nine times out of 10, whatever the Glowforge settings are, you can just take them down a little bit or you could just increase your passes. Just be careful with cardboard because it will catch on fire. Make sure to never leave your Glowforge unattended. Um, this lady did burn down her house, but she didn't follow the instructions. Glowforge is great, it's not their fault. She just didn't, you, you can't like let a laser just like, uh, I don't know, autopilot cutting through paper. Use common sense. This is a machine for people who are, you don't have to be a genius, but you have to be a little bit like, come on, a little bit smart. Like, my condolences, my God. If that was you, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't comment on anything ever. So yeah, this is step one um, of the process. And even though it's cardboard, we spray painted it, we taped it together. At one point, I might have broken it and had to put it back together with super glue. But I don't know, it's a cute part of the process. So I'm gonna take you on the next one when we use the Glow Forge to make something a little bit more sturdy. Um, might even use it to cut out some cardstock for the sleeve to make something more presentable. But I don't know, I hope you enjoy going on the journey. I'll uh, put all the links of how to make boxes how to make boxes.com, no maker case. So if you wanna make a box and let me know what you think. What do you think about this design? Do you think I should do a sleeve or it should be a regular opening box? I think now that I'm seeing it, first of all, the proper dimensions would be better. My team agrees, um, but also I think it's a little bit too high. This is about an inch tall. And um, if you're ever designing something for male, weight and thickness is always super, super important. And that is not an inappropriate joke that anyone's gonna take, but <laughs> it is very important. And um, I think that I want something thinner to fit in like a bubble mailer, because mailer, shipping right now is insane. But that's the process. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or you wanna know more, comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok. Uh, the content is very different there, but I still would love to connect. I respond to all my DMs on Instagram really quick. Comments here take me a little bit more time. I have been gone, but I hope to come back. I have I have help. My friend Colin has been a really huge helper. He's editing this video. Also, my friend Abby's here in the background playing uh, with some fidget toys. And thank you so much. 